I've been working as a wedding photographer for over 15 years. My little sister, Marcia, teased me for it. You used to be an artist. Hey, I'm still an artist. Come on. You spend more time manipulating these photos on your computer than you do taking them. Your birthday's coming up soon, so I thought I would get you something that reminded you of when you were young and cool. in forever. The camera looked like it was from the 80s, maybe 70s, and it took me back to photography school. What are you doing? That's a wall. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I've worried about exposure time? A while, I guess. Yeah. Years. The first set of pictures that were hanging had these smudges, kind of. I thought maybe there was something on the lens. But then in the photo of my husband, his eyes were completely black. I remember what I saw in the viewfinder when I took them. Aren't you eating with us? Oh, I I kind of want to... <laughs> I haven't seen you this excited since we sold the minivan. <laughs> Go. Have fun. This was different than the night before. It almost looked like a handprint. and I opened the door, they, they must have bleached out. I swear I didn't imagine it. It's an old camera, right? Like what, 30 years? At least. It's probably something on the lens, like dirt or a scratch, maybe. Come on, come to bed. I wanted to believe Gary's explanation, but there were no dirt or scratches anywhere on the camera. What are you doing? I, I, I had a bad dream. It's okay. It's fine, come on. Let's go to bed. I knew Gary would call me a crazy artist or something if I told him the truth. I wanted to get proof about what I'd seen before I showed him anything. So I went around the house snapping pictures in every room. 
In Scott's room, that swirl of smoke again. And under the bed, what looked like a, a puddle of something. And then in our room, the smoke was there again. But there was something else under the bed. tag is from the Jersey City Police Department. Then let's go. So, what was that used for? Mug shots? No, it's always been a lock down quick snap. Then again, uh, you're missing the flash attachment for shooting in the shadows. He told us that the camera had been used for crime scenes by someone on the force. Hold on a second, and I'll be able to tell you exactly whose it was. Let's see, 1988, Anders Gustav. Yeah, I remember him. He was a weird one. Real private, too. Then again, I guess all them crime scene guys is messed up. Is he still active or retired? He uh, left a note about all them crime scenes, and then he rammed a shotgun down his throat. Hi. Are you Anders Gustav's son? Yeah. The camera. Yeah, he talked about the camera. I was too young to know anything, but my mom said it was more like the rantings of a crazy person. His suicide note wasn't much different. He said he captured death on film, that he'd seen it, that death wasn't a state, but an actual thing. And he'd seen it, photographed it. Did he say what it looked like? A cloud of dark smoke surrounds the victims. Lurking in the shadows to see its work. Ah! Discovered by the living. You know, he set the camera up to take a picture of his body after he pulled the trigger. And he wasn't lying about the smoke. Anyway, I'd get rid of that camera. We already did. Then maybe you're stuck with it. I'm gonna check on Nikki. Honey, what's wrong? I'm scared of the man. I'll come lie down with you in a second. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Scott? Hey, Scott. Scott! Scott! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, buddy! Scott! Hey, come on, wait, sit up! Scott, sit up! Sit up! Hey, Scott! Scott, breathe! Breathe! Hey, breathe. sit up, buddy. Breathe. Breathe. Oh my God. Scott, are you okay? Breathe. Breathe, buddy. Are you okay? How 
How did that get in here? I, I, I was just curious. I, I took it out of the trash. It's OK. When it happened to Nikki, I thought it was just a bad dream. But now, actually seeing it happen to Scott, I couldn't deny it anymore. It had to be related to this camera or to that photographer who owned it. That night, Gary threw the camera in the river across town. And after that, we never experienced anything weird in the house again. <laughs>